Plasma 1945 and uh, basically I'm going to walk you through the new launcher. People are asking what do I think of it and actually I think it was Yusuf who posted a question about it and I was actually thinking about that myself. Um, so what is the launcher? The launcher is basically a uh, web app component which means that it connects to the internet and it's an aggregator. And, you know, on the main page, you can, you know, right click and drag, drag the window around, tells you who you are, your language settings, and you can you know, change them around there. There's Russian. And this way I can learn what settings mean in Russian, which is great. Because normally I'm just like trying to translate in my head. But let's go back to the actual settings. All the settings that are shown here are all in DCS. Now, these are all interface settings, which you can't change before you fly, which is pretty awesome, I suppose. But uh, realistically, it's just a way of showing you what's already inside of DCS. Kind of nice. Is it required? I don't think it's a huge, huge game changer. My favorite button here to disable the launcher was about bypassing it. Why do I need to start DCS and then launch it again? Unless someone is trying to sell me something and that's what really the launcher is the launcher is a web front end for the dcs store to try to get you to buy things now you can buy things as a gift you can see what's available you can trial things it does make things very efficient uh, you know you can filter out by developers and hey look there's a rasband product south atlantic awesome you can filter by aircraft and um, see what you have in the cart already uh, within your account. Now, here is the thing. If you do want to buy something, let's say you click on buy, it'll get added to the cart. When you click on the cart, it'll still, you know, show you the prices and so forth. But when you hit checkout, it'll still take you to the DCS website. So really the transaction doesn't even happen inside of the app. If it could happen in the app, it would be pretty awesome. But it does take you to the DCS website where you can access and um, make the actual purchase. So, eh, is it a big deal? Not really, because it's not all in one integrated. What else do we have here? Uh, we've got our list of files. Um, so you can quickly manage your files if you don't have enough space for everything to uninstall or reinstall them. So plans, I think this is one of the most useful things if you don't have a lot of space, you can preemptively remove files or basically install them. So let's say you are going to go and fly somewhere in say South Atlantic or Sinai and you don't have the map installed locally, you've already purchased it. Well, you can quickly toggle it to enable it and uh, install it so that you don't need to go in the game, install it and then reinstall it again. So this is actually a very useful feature. Uh, you can check your updates, uh, do your repairs and builds. Again, it opens up the repair launcher right and here it comes and asks you know what kind of a repair you want to do so that's an improvement social media well if you ever needed to get to uh the dcs instagram page now you can with one click of a button um i would like to customize these so that i can put my favorite squadrons or favorite youtubers here not this stuff I would say that's a huge, that'd be a huge change. I'd look forward to that. Otherwise, you know, the launcher is really an interface for you to make some changes that you can do within the game. I think this is going to be the least used function because once you've got everything set up, you've got it set up. The most useful part is the ability to reinstall these files. Otherwise, it's an okay launcher, but personally, I just go into settings and disable the launcher on start and hit apply. And this way I don't need to have the launcher start up and affect me. And I go directly to DCS as normal. Anyhow, that's my review of the launcher. Do I think it's great? It's okay, it's a bit redundant, but um, the ability to add remove maps if you don't have a lot of space on your drive, that's actually a useful function. On that note, Plasma 1945 is out of here. And of course guys, make sure you go and join the DCS Instagram page with 88,000 followers because that's a thing.